music related, like sports related or something. But um, so I like travel a lot. Um, cause my family lives four, like, four hours away, and um, I've been having like a lot of obligations back home lately. And so my mom sent me a podcast to listen to on my bed, and it happened to be about a victim of human trafficking. So I'm gonna leave my story about the podcast. So long story short, um, this girl, she's a college student. She went on a cruise with her family for spring break in 1998, and um, to the Caribbean. And it was her and her family, and one early morning, so it says March 24th, um, she went missing from her room, like in the cruise. And um, she was never heard from again, seen from again by her family. And so her family had to live with that and enjoy the rest of their vacation, like knowing that um, they may never see her again. She went completely missing. And then like years later, she was um, suspectedly seen on the beach because she had like distinct tattoos. And um, it was the same looking girl was seen with those tattoos on the beach, so it was um, concluded that she had been kidnapped and held captive on that island for years and years. And um, one of the reasons I chose this topic, one, because I have two little sisters that I really dearly care about, and um, so I want to be like more aware and more like um, informed on something that's like around us that we really don't know about, and this class is predominantly female, so I thought it would just be kind of a useful topic for everyone. Um, I hate to be like negative. But um, yeah, so I just want to inform you all on the statistics of sex trafficking, the danger, and how like low key it is, but how like common it is, and then simple ways to help prevent it and um, be more aware. So um, it is an issue that's close to home. Charlotte is the highest city in North Carolina for sex trafficking activity. Um, I mean, it's the biggest city, so it's kind of like common sense. But at the same time, um, something to be aware of. And then in the country, North Carolina is ranked tenth. So for that activity, and with All Star Weekend and all that stuff going on recently, and all the events, I know that uh, those numbers have spiked a lot lately. Um, so the Department of Defense uh, clarified sex trafficking to be the world's highest growing crime. So annual annual estimated income is 99 billion, um, which is a lot, and it's not like the highest grossing crime. So it's not like the highest uh, world's highest crime, but it's growing um, rapidly, and. Um, in the United States, so this is, I had a hard time, the numbers are so like off, because I did like global victims, US, yada, yada, yada. But um, so in the United States, estimated between 14,500 victims to 17,500. And um, I mean, globally, that number is 25 million. So it's 25 million people who are affected by this, who are victims of human trafficking globally. That's a lot of people. Um, and then the sad thing about it, so what, these, what this meant is, um, for, so, for all like the people that have are victims globally, there's only been 14,894 cases that have been prosecuted, and then of those prosecuted cases, only 9,071 have been um, actually convicted of the crime. So, to put that in perspective, there's 25 million people in the world who are affected by it, and only 14,000 of those have actually like led to a case, and 9,000 of them actually being the one being um, convicted for this crime. Um, if you don't know who this is right here, that's Robert Kraft. He's a billionaire, um, pretty prominent in our society. He owns the New England Patriots. I'm not a big Patriots fan, so I have a problem with him up here. Um, <laughs> he's uh, involved in this um, scandal as of late, um, having to do with Asian Day Spa in Florida, where he apparently has been going and paying for sexual services, paying for prostitutes. And at this, he pled not guilty, but the case hasn't ended, so it hasn't been resolved yet. Um, but apparently once like, the police investigated, like the spa was um, holding these girls hostage, like who were working there, not allowing them to leave, um, making them live there, and like this was beyond their will. And all these women were also Chinese women, who, like uh, Chinese American women who were immigrants and stuff like that. Um, so now we kind of have an idea, and I've made you all a little more aware of um, how common this is. And I use that last example before I keep going on. Um, just kind of show how like, there's people that in our um, society that we kind of look up to, and, um, and there's plenty more cases as well. Um, but people that we look up to and kind of, um, uh, there's, there's normal people in our society that are involved in this and are um, maybe not you know running these sex trafficking rings, but they're at least uh, participating and giving them money. Um, so I wanted to create a little way, in my research ways like protect yourself and be, um, aware of this. So first off, uh, spread awareness and be a voice 
Um, you can join club organizations, the league, the spread info. Just be be aware of what's going on around this, because if we're not aware, then there's nothing we can actually do about it. And um, spread the info, retweet stuff, yada yada yada. Um, I want y'all to be aware of how they were victim in. So like a lot of times they use like promises of success, money. Um, I know there's this one case where this girl was told by a guy, she was befriended by this guy, and he was like, I can get you into clubs with celebrities, yada, 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 and she didn't know what she was getting into, and the next thing she knows, she's out a few hours later, she's at the club as a prostitute. Um, so they, they give you all these great promises, and um, they can be real comforting, cool people at first, but then these are people that are turning around, stabbing you in the back, and then make money off of you. Um, if you want to go out, be intoxicated, go to the club, do whatever, be with your friend, Make sure you're around people you trust. Don't go out drinking by yourself. Trust part not smart. And they really prey off of people who are intoxicated. Um, at all times, be aware of your surroundings, aware of who you're around. Um, it's just always be on your toes no matter where you act. You never know what's going to happen, especially nowadays. Um, but one, one way that they really prey on people and live a lot of times children is social media and dating apps. So just be very mindful of who you communicate on social media, who you link up with if you are on a dating app and want to meet someone. Um, just make sure you know who you're talking to and who you're communicating with. Um, common sense kind of, don't walk alone at night. Um, always keep a, your phone charged and then if you feel the need, keep some type of protection on you, pepper spray, paper spray, taser, a gun if you got legally, yada, yada, yada. So in conclusion, I just want everyone to be aware of this evil world that we live in, this evil crime that's all around us, um, and try to use those simple steps just to help prevent um, being in a situation where you could become a possible victim. And I'm um, also going to put the uh, hotline up there, guys, the trapping hotline, so if you are a victim or something happened, you can call that hotline, text it. Um, so any questions? Anyone?